My name is James Grundler. I'm in a band called Golden State. Uh, we're from Los Angeles, California. Um, the band was formed there in LA with a bunch of uh, musicians from all over the country. And, and uh, I guess we got together um, by way of finding out you know, similar interests and stuff. And one of them was uh, you know, searching for the truth, and, and I guess, you know, I think through music you can really find that if you dig deep enough. And by by being on that journey, we we found uh, ourselves wrapped up in in uh, in this kind of you know political gamut, and because it is such an important time and place right now. Um, that it really, it really, we just kind of gravitated towards uh, towards the the attitude of it, and with Ron Paul, it really solidified the the whole desire to be part of it, and uh, and that's where we are today, you know, and, and uh, we're really proud to be part of this, you know, it's the new revolution, and that's what we want to do. Well, there was a song that we wrote called Bombs, the Ron Paul song, and and I guess. A lot of the inspiration came from uh, a subconscious or conscious drive to to have a voice, and and it started off with you know the the basic level of ending wars as a the theme of the song of ending wars, but it goes further than that. It's about ending wars with you know uh, our economic battles. Ending wars with the uh, our p political battles, ending wars with the actual war machine, ending wars with poverty, ending wars with joblessness. You know, it's 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 everything compiled, and it goes beyond everyone. And 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 that's why I think the song it, uh, people react to it so well because it is a song that that digs so deep. It's obviously it's our future that is at stake. You know, that's why that's why I support. We support Ron Paul because I want to be able to have a future that that I can be proud of and, and live in freely and not have to, you know, live in fear for, you know, my parents, my family, children, you know, the young the young kids, you know. I mean, it's 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 just I mean, it's everything. It's not only it's not just a political game. You know, this is this is this is the future. Well, I grew up in a pretty musical family. My, my parents had an amazing record collection. Uh, I grew up listening to uh, a lot of really great R&B and soul music like uh, Martha and the Vandellas and Marvin Gaye and of course the Beach Boys. My dad's a huge Beach Boy fan and, and just grew up singing these songs with my brothers and my family on road trips and, and uh, I just love songs and I think a song can, can do so much. You know, I always go back to this this uh, little philosophy I have about the song's origination and, and uh, how it's kind of the forgotten language. And as you can see how music can translate no matter what, what uh, country you're in, no matter what language uh, people speak, it still translates. And that's, that's, what, that's, what, that's why I play music. Um, you know, what's, what's great is that uh, we actually did a, when uh, Ron Paul uh, was a, a guest on the Jay Leno show in Los Angeles, we, we actually went out and brought our guitars with us and we performed uh, in, the, in the street for all the, the demonstrators. And we got such a huge reaction uh, from the crowd singing the song that we, we felt that we need to really take this on the road. We need, to, we need to get out there and be a part of every stop along the way. And we were asked to do this, do this uh, campaign, this uh, boots on the ground uh, uh, rally tonight, and, and uh, it's been really exciting. The first day when we got in last night, right when we walked into the hotel, we got greeted with open arms from Ron Paul fans, and it was really uh, just a really amazing feeling. It's something that you can't describe from just a regular rock and roll going to a rock and roll show. There's something completely real 
with what's going on right now. It's not a, it's not a superficial thing, and, and I, I don't feel phony when I'm performing. I don't feel like I'm, I have to fit into a certain box or a category. I feel free when I perform. And, uh, and that's how I felt tonight on our first set. It was really, it was, it's such a freeing feeling. It's not impossible.